B-L-T-L, or less than truckload for those that are new to the logistics game. And it is exactly what it sounds like. This type of freight is usually small pallets that are shipped in a trailer pulled by a semi with other goods similar to it, as opposed to a full truckload of freight or just truckload or TL. The biggest thing you should know about LTL shipping is that you actually share the space in a trailer with other small businesses that are shipping their goods out into the world just like you. This allows for the carrier to fill every square inch with freight from all different kinds of shippers. What's nice about this and what makes it such a great option for small businesses is that you only pay for the space that your freight takes up inside the trailer. So instead of booking an entire trailer to do a truckload shipment or TL, you only pay for what you need, which means a healthier bottom line for your business. Another thing that sets LTL freight apart from other different kinds of shipping methods is that it actually moves and goes through a hub and spoke type of model. And again, it is what it sounds like. Think of it like a bike wheel. You have local terminals that are the spokes that connect to a distribution center or central hub. The local terminals are where the workers load freight onto the trucks. From there, drivers haul the loaded goods or freight to the various distribution centers where they are either delivered or consolidated into other trailers with other freight for further transportation. This differs from truckload or TL because with truckload, you tend to go from point A to point B with little to no stops in between. And because LTL goes to the hub and spoke model, there tends to be more handling than truckload shipping. Another benefit of using LTL freight is goods are often packed on pallets and shrink wrapped and either tied down or secured within the trailer. This ups the chance of getting to its destination secure and in one piece versus a lot of small packaged goods that have to be handled and passed through many hands. Going this route also allows you access to lift gates and for carriers to come in inside your facility to make the pickup and delivery. Now, there are some things that you have to keep in mind if you're considering going with an LTL freight option. First is that the further the destination your freight needs to go, the higher the cost. You also need to know your dimension and weight of your freight because that will determine your freight class. We've done a video all about freight class and determining freight cost. I'll link that in the description below or you can click that eye icon at the top right of your screen. And if your freight requires some kind of specialty equipment to handle it, additional fees might stack up on you. That is LTL Freight in a nutshell. What has been your experience with LTL Freight? Have you ever even considered this as a shipping option for your business? Sound off, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this so you're in the know on everything shipping.